work? Yeah, what we discovered is this uh, ECM, or extracellular matrix gene signature, is associated with response to immunotherapy. Uh, and this is important because as of today, we, we have not a uh, very good way to predict which patient will respond, which patient will not. And, and the predictive approach can identify, uh, can enrich for a population that more patients respond, but still half or maybe even more than half will still will not respond. What our, our finding is within this patient that's supposed to respond and not responding is actually the majority of the case they have high of this ECM signature. And that's provided as a biomarker to identify who should receive immunotherapy or not, and also pro provide a hypothesis of why they are not responding. So we look across multiple cancer types and we find that some patients have high of these gene signatures associated with ECM. What you find is when that's happened, it's usually associated with a specific cell that we call cancer-associated fibroblast. So these are the cells that usually make the ECM. So they are, so they are in the cancer, they are around the cancer and they're making this matrix and, and somehow they're protecting the cancer against the immune system. And the ultimate goal is to find a biomarker that you can, def can help the clinician to the decide if this patient should receive immunotherapy or not and, and ultimately to define that this patient at this stage they cannot receive immunotherapy alone but they can receive another drug that will target the ECM and now they can receive the immunotherapy. So we're trying to propose new therapeutic strategies and also biomarkers to, to select the patients. My name is Daniel De Carvalho and I'm a senior scientist at Princess Margaret Cancer Center.